Hello students and welcome to another physical education and health class episode for senior high school. I hope that you are all in your comfortable clothes suited for any physical activity because today you are definitely going to sweat. I am teacher Mike and welcome to our subject, Health Optimizing Physical Education. In today's episode, you are expected to identify the components of skill-related fitness, perform the six components of skill-related fitness activity, and appreciate the importance of skill-related fitness through your well-being. Last week, the different classifications of exercises were discussed that you might want to include your fitness program. These are the aerobic exercises, the muscular strength and endurance exercises, and flexibility exercises. Exercises which target different parts of our body for it to improve were also discussed, like exercises for the arms, abdominals, legs, and even our heart. Students, I have some activities here and I want you to identify or classify them. Students, can you tell me which skill-related fitness activities they belong to? We have agility, speed, power, coordination, reaction time, and balance. Remember that some activities may show two or more skill-related fitness. Choose your answer from the text box and write your answer on a separate sheet. You have 10 seconds to finish this activity. Ready? Your 10 seconds starts now. And now for the answers. We have number one, B, speed. Two, C, power. Number three, F, balance. We have two answers for number four. We have D, coordination, and E, reaction time. And now we have three answers for number five. We have A, agility, D, coordination, and E, reaction time. Fitness is a condition in which an individual has sufficient energy to avoid fatigue and enjoy life. And when we say skill or performance-related fitness, this involves skills that will enhance one's performance in athletic or sports events. There are six related fitness components. We have agility, balance, coordination, speed, power, and reaction time. Skilled athletes typically excel in all six areas. Agility is the ability to change and control the body's direction and position while maintaining a constant, rapid motion. For example, changing directions to hit a tennis ball. Balance is the ability to control or stabilize the body when a person is standing still or moving. For example, skateboarding. Coordination is the ability to use the senses together with body parts during movement. For example, dribbling a basketball using hands and eyes together is called a hand-eye coordination. Speed is the ability to move your body or parts of your body swiftly. In sports, players rely on speed to gain an advantage over their opponents. For example, a basketball player making a fast break to perform a layup. Power is the ability to move the body parts swiftly while applying the maximum force of the muscles. Power is a combination of both speed and muscular strength. For example, punching in boxing and kicking for taekwondo. Reaction time is the ability to reach or respond quickly to what you hear, see, or feel. For example, an athlete quickly runs when he hears the starting gun. Now let us try and experience what those skill-related fitnesses are. It's time to play 
let's get moving. The purpose of this activity is to help you gain an understanding of what happens to our heart rate when we perform activities to develop the six components of skill-related fitness. Let me show you this table. Here are the things that we are going to do. And we are performing all these activities for 30 seconds each. Indicate what skill-related fitness is involved for each activity. Our heart rate before we start and your heart rate after the activity. Breathing notes, whether we are breathing faster or not. The time to get our heart rate to go below 120 beats per minute or our time to recover. Let us start! Use a heart rate monitor or count your heartbeat through your carotid or radial pulse. Record your heart rate before you begin. This will be for all activities and then get your heart rate immediately after performing each activity. Also, take note if you are breathless or having a fast heartbeat at the end of the activity. Walk slowly and allow your heart rate to go down below 125 beats per minute between each exercise if possible. In case your heart rate goes over 125 beats per minute at the end of an exercise, record how long it takes to get below 125 beats per minute. Our first activity is weave through chairs. Run as fast as you can while weaving through chairs for 30 seconds. Second is, balance at three levels. Use blocks or stairs for 10 seconds each. While standing, lift your leg in the air for 10 seconds. Slowly go down by keeping your knees half bent for 10 seconds. And lastly, knees must go full bent for 10 seconds. Next is, catch the ball. Throw a ball against the wall and move to catch the ball. Now do this, it is called tap me please. Place any kind of ball on the ground for 30 seconds. Tap right toe then left toe on top of the ball. Do alternate taps and go as fast as you can. Next, we have the sprints like ball. Perform short sprints for about 10 meters. Run as fast as you can towards the finish line, and once you reach the finish line, immediately run back towards the starting line and do it for 30 seconds.
The next activity is the running to the side. Perform shuttle runs between two lines with a distance of 6 meters for 30 seconds. Next, we have the jump up to the top. Perform jumps to an elevated surface or stairs, approximately 1 to 2 feet. Do it for 30 seconds, step down and jump again. Lastly, we have Catch Me, I'm Falling. All you need to do is hold the ball in one hand and drop attempt to catch the ball with the same hand just before it hits the ground. Also, do this for 30 seconds. Whoa. Are you still catching your breath after those activities? Well, I hope you have already recovered. Now, let's talk about your performance. In what activity or activities did your heart rate reach above 180 beats per minute? Why do you think it happened? In what activity or activities did your heart rate reach 150 to 180 beats per minute? Can you tell me why? In which activity or activities did you feel out of breath? Why do you think it happened? In what activity or activities did your heart rate remain below 125 beats per minute? Can you tell me the reason? Let me know your answers. Post it on your social media accounts. And do not forget to use the hashtag HopeWithTeacherMike. Students, I cannot wait to hear from you. Now it's time to evaluate what you have learned from our lesson today. Please have your pen and paper ready and choose the correct answer from the choices. I will be giving you 3 seconds to answer each number. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number 1. What is the skill-related fitness manifested in chasing and escaping dog? A. Agility B. Balance C. Coordination D. Speed The correct answer is letter D. Speed Number 2 Hitting the bullseye in playing a dart game is a great example of what skill-related fitness. Is it A. Coordination B. Power C. Speed Or D. Reaction time The correct answer is letter A, coordination. Number three, what is the skill-related fitness that helps you to jump over the hurdles? Is it A, coordination, B, power, C, speed, D, reaction time? The correct answer is Letter B, power. Which of the following is the best example of reaction time? A, 
blocking a fast and strong kick B crossing the streets C hitting the target or D walking in the balance speed the correct answer is letter A blocking a fast and strong kick number five in which sporting event is agility often manifested? A. Archery B. Badminton C. Chess or D. Rowing The correct answer is letter B. Badminton Number 6 In the critical part of a basketball game, John skillfully dribbles the ball with one hand and protects it from the opponent trying to steal it with his other hand. At the same time, he eyes the ring as he prepares to shoot. What ability does Jan manifest it? Is it A. Agility B. Balance C. Coordination or D. Power The correct answer is letter C. Coordination Number 7 Candice was walking with his boyfriend when someone threw a stone at them. She quickly pushed her boyfriend to prevent the stone from hitting him. What skill-related fitness did she exhibit? A. Balance B. Coordination C. Speed or D. Reaction time The correct answer is letter D. Reaction time Number 8. Shekinah wants to be an Olympic gold medalist in gymnastics. What skill-related fitness should she master to perform difficult stunts while keeping in the state of equilibrium? A. Agility B. Balance C. Coordination or D. Reaction time The correct answer is letter B. Balance Number 9. Alfred makes a strong smash in badminton that no one can easily return his shots. What skill-related fitness is dominant in his shot? A. Coordination B. Power C. Speed or D. Reaction time The correct answer is letter B. Power and lastly, number 10. What is the secret of Lydia de Vega sprinting to win the 100 meter dash and be called the fastest woman in Asia in the 1980s? A. Coordination. B. Power. C. Speed. Or D. Reaction time. The correct answer is letter B and letter C. Power and speed. Well, how did you do? I'm sure you all did well in this activity. And because of that, I am congratulating all of you for a job well done. Well, there you have it. I hope you have learned a lot and enjoyed our lesson for today. Always remember, a healthy lifestyle not only changes your body, but it also changes your mind, your attitude, and your mood. Join us again next time as we engage in fun and educational physical activities and I'm sure it's going to be an exciting one. Once again, I'm Teacher Mike, your best hope teacher. Thank you for watching Depit TV and I'll see you next time.